It is January 2nd. Oh wow, that it's zooming in. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why the heck is it getting so close? I brought the old truck today because I figured it would be a little more muddy. And I got mud tires on this truck. I got street tires on the other truck. This truck's not running right. I think it's a little low on compression. Or the timing might be a little off, or the valve might need to adjust. I gotta figure it out. But because of that, we had to go pretty slow coming here. I got a 150 degree thermostat in here to keep it a little cooler in the summer months. So in the winter, it doesn't put off heat really well. It puts off like a lukewarm heat. It's pretty cold right now because the window is actually broken. It won't go up either. There was two guys sitting in that same exact spot we were sitting the other day. I didn't want to drive up in here and ruin everything for them. So I figured we'd just park. Actually turned around, drove back a little bit, parked. Now we're walking up in here. Oh, it's, it's a bit brisk out this morning. The ground's super wet. Should be a good day, hopefully. Hopefully we can find any of those three, three or four bucks. That's the biggest. No. -uh. Imagine he goes over there and hits. Well, boys and ladies, we uh, we found the big one. Freaking first year I spotted after what? Five minutes sitting down home. Probably ten. Probably ten, maybe. Probably five after you figured out which spot they were at. Yeah, five after I confused the ridge that they were on the other day. But hell yeah, we got them. Now we just got to put them to bed, and then hopefully get on them as long as he's in a good spot. All right, guys, we got embedded. Uh, the wind keeps changing. And sometimes it's blowing from left to right, right to left, back to front, front to back. Um, probably give it a good 10 minutes or so to stabilize because the thermals are, the sun's starting to come up, thermals are changing. And then uh, once I think I can put a plan together, I'll put a plan together and we'll go stalking. I'm stalking today. Yeah, I was going to say, by we, I mean, he means he. Yeah, I'm stalking today. Colton had his chance for the last month. It's my turn. <coughs> that ain't good. So he, he's pretty big, man. He's pretty big. See that? Yeah, you're putting it right in front of the camera. Oh. My ass in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we got embedded. The wind's still switching up, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and make my way. What my plan is, is I'm gonna go up and over the backside, over that way, come around the back, drop into a rock and shoot about 40 yards down to him. And hopefully that works, hopefully the wind is good for me when I get up there. The sun's still rolling in, so it should still be, um, it should, the wind should still be changing up a little bit with the, with the thermals. Well. You guys didn't see it, but the buck was on the left side of those two little stubs right there. He got up, walked up about a yard, and laid right back down. So, I don't know if that's good or not, but I'm going to text Chuck here now and tell him. We'll let you know if anything else happens. Chuck's about 150 from this buck, we think. Well, from what looks like it over here. Uh, he said something about the wind. I didn't really hear him. But if it's anything like it is over here, it's absolutely perfect. It's blowing from a right to left, so it's blowing from the buck to Chucky, not the other way around. So I'm just going to let you know if anything happens and probably pan to Chucky real quick here in a second. That's wind, y'all. Looking to his left now. Kind of, he got up. He got up. He got up. Buck is up. Buck is up. Looking back left.
มะมะมะบักแรนบักแรนบักแรน No I didn't see where he went No 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 Too much cactus. They're rocking the way. Forty yards on a giant. Oh, now he's going on. Oh man. Right here was his bed. That cactus right there. I forget what that's called, but that was right in my way. I was by that rock pile right up there. <clears throat> I went and rearranged it. It was thirty-six yards. A freaking giant. He went over that way. I'm gonna go try to find him. Colton hasn't picked him back up yet. Shoot, dude. Can't find the freaking buck. I'm, I'm not trying to hike all the way back down there without something to show for coming all the way up here. So we're gonna hike over there, peek over, and start glassing. Must be nice to just chill. Huh? Yeah. All right, just for reference, if you look in the top of the screen, there's that big rock. Look directly down, there's a pile of verde. Look down a little further. And there's two reddish brown cactus nubs. That's where he was at. And if you look at that big rock and then you look left like 20 yards and you know down like 5, 10 you'll see some a little rock pile. That's where I was at. All right, so we've been glassing for what, an hour? Probably. Probably an hour. Can't find him, so we think he went up and over that side over there. So what we're gonna do is go down here to the truck, drive around this mountain, and try to glass them up on the other side. It'd be a little better too because the sun won't be in our eyes. Hopefully we can glass them up and get it back on them again. All right, so we were sitting here looking for the big buck and a razor that you can hear in the background come up the road and I look over and I see a freaking deer running. Big buck, spooked him up. He was behind us in the flat. Had no idea, he was 250 yards, 300 yards away. He still, we watched him go in a group of bushes. Go right, Colton. Go right. We watched him go in a group of bushes and uh, he hasn't come out yet, at least we haven't seen him. Could have ghosted us, but we're on the move. We're, we're close. So, hopefully this turns out. We haven't found the other buck at all. But right now, this is our, this is our only buck we've seen since that other buck. Only deer we've seen since that other buck.
might be the big one. It might be the big one. Hey, that buck's looking at you. Keep that decoy up. The medium one missed. Now he's looking hard back right. You're good. Now he's looking at you. Almost hit by side, side side by side, did you? Yeah. Dude, I had it. Till he rolled up. Oh really? Yeah. How far were you? I was 80. 80? From the buck. And he was walking towards you? Yes. Yeah, he stopped and asked him. He's like, you guys hunting? I'm like, yeah. He's like, can I watch? I'm like, sure. And then he just like sat there. I didn't expect him to watch for that long. I figured he was gonna watch for like 10 seconds and leave. Dude. You still see him over there, can't you? No. They, go over. they went up and over. I got good footage of the, the littler buck rubbing up, rubbing a brush pile. Do you realize your angle? If you look past him 50 yards, there was two giants. I didn't see him. Two giants, not not as big as him, but two, like right there with him. Yeah. Yeah. That's seven bucks. Yeah. And you got hike six miles. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I freaking had him. I had the decoy on. Walking towards him. Walking towards him, no problem. I cut 150 yards with them just. Looking at me, I just sat down, stood up, started walking when they stopped looking. <clears throat> I got all the way over there, 80 yards. Like, look at it. I was ready. I had an arrow knocked. I wouldn't. I probably wasn't gonna shoot 80 yards. I was trying to get 60. But if one of them big ones stepped out at 80, I was prepared to send one. <laughs> but uh, but when he shut his fucking, when he shut his side by side off, mm -hmm. all of them took off. Oh, really? They knew. They, they must have been rifle hunting before with side by side guys. If it wasn't for him, if he would have just kept going, probably would have been fine. They really weren't paying him any attention until he shut it off. Once he shut it off, they all looked and then they all started filing off. The two big ones instantly just started walking. Dang. Yeah. You, you really didn't see the two big ones? Mm -mm. I wonder if you caught them in the camera and didn't I see, I seen it. a big, I seen a. a I, I bet, if we review the footage, I bet you can see those two in the background. Because wherever, that, that buck behind that Palo Verde, he was maybe, they were maybe 50 yards diagonal left and back. That's it. And they were looking right at me. Like boxy as hell, too. Like nice. I wish, freaking GoPro, man. 45% battery. Batteries? Oh, I get over there, and I click it to turn it off, and I take it off my head, and it starts recording. I'm like, oh my god. I look at the clip, it recorded nine seconds. Me asking you, basically, is it on in the recording? And then it quit. I'm gonna get some new batteries. Yeah. I had four bucks right there. Really? Four bucks. And then, it, he was fine if he had kept going, but when he shut it off, it was over. But he's the only reason why we saw him in the first place. Yeah. I just wish that he would've, cause I saw him coming back down, I wish he would've went towards the freaking truck, man. Or just kept going, I wish he never would've saw you. Yeah. I heard him, I heard you guys talking, he's like, uh, so, holy crap, you're, you're really camoed in there. I didn't see you. Yeah. I turned around and waved at him, and he was, like, headed straight towards me. He was, like, 20 <laughs> yards. I was, like, uh. That's funny. Damn it. Dude, I say we, next time we come back here, instead of sitting in the bottom, we might need to get up there. Yeah. Because if they're coming through the bottom in the evening, it seems like they're on the mountain in the morning, and they're coming through the bottom in the evening. That wasn't a big one. That's uh, one of those bucks we've seen before. The other three, I've never seen here. Okay. Ever. I've never seen those three. And you three. think the small fork was the one you Small seen. fork is the one I've seen before. Then that big fork, the one you got on camera. Then there's two. The four by fours or... No? Did you have a triple on one side? Maybe four by three? Okay. Well, there was a big fork in front of me I'd never saw before. I had never saw that one with the... At the very end, had that small splitter on the right. Never saw him before. But there was also two, like, ten points. Like, either 4 by 4s or 5 by 5s Boxy is all hell. Like, beautiful. I wish I could have shot the... There was one that was just square. <laughs> oh, man.
that sucks, man. Well, as you guys can see, uh, we didn't fill a tag day one, but we had two stocks. Very successful stock, just not finalized. Got the 36 yards. It was 36 yards. I went up there, took a picture. Uh, I ranged it and everything from where I was standing to where he was. It was 36 yards, but there was one of there was one of those straggly cactuses. I don't I don't even know what they are, but there was one of those. And the way his vitals were, the the curvature of the hill was too much. The way his vitals were, it was in the way I needed him to take two steps forward. And as you see in the video, instead of taking a step, he jumped and freaking went across the canyon, freaking 100 mile an hour. Was hoping to pick him back up, but then this razor, we're just sitting here like we're not gonna see nothing the rest of the day. That was the only buck we saw, only deer we saw all day. This razor comes tearing up through here. I I was hearing something before the razors come up through, like some rocks. I'm like. Ah, there's a rabbit over there or something. It was pretty quiet. And then this razor comes up through here and a giant freaking, what was he, like a 4x4 four four probably? Yeah. yeah, an 8 point. Big old deep forks. He wasn't even here. Oh, really? No. He wasn't even here. That's 8 bucks? Yeah. I don't know where he, well, I don't know where he went. Yeah. But that, this was a completely different herd. I accidentally spotted these guys when I looked over at you and I was like, what are you doing? You're on the wrong road. Yeah. Um. And then, uh, yeah, so he, he come through, spooked that buck. And then we were trying to pick up his tracks so that we could find him. And I just look up and I spotted three deer right in front of me and that turned into however many that was. It was like eight or 10 right there with four bucks. But I think all in all, successful first day for 2023. I don't think we necessarily did anything wrong. The wind got me there, a razor got me here. Um, yeah, what do you think, Holden? That's pretty good. Yeah, nothing else? No. The razor <laughs> might have been my fault because I did tell him he could watch, but... Oh, dude. They were fine until he, they heard the kill off. I guarantee they've been rifle on it. Yeah, as soon as he stopped, the key killed it. Yeah, yeah. As soon as he, they went key off, the big ones took off. Like, not fast, but they took off walking. They were like, we're not staying around. They, I had one of them literally walking I towards see, I got, me. I seen it, yeah. He saw me, and he was just coming in, dude. If you guys don't have these decoys, uh, what are they, Ultimate Predator decoys, Cole? This is on the back, I think it is. Yeah, Ultimate Predator decoy, 100 bucks. Put it on your bow. When it's the rut, like this ain't even rut yet. When it's the rut, they literally try to come round you up and pull you in the herd. It's insane. But if you're watching this long, appreciate it. Pretty sure we're, we're over for the night. By the time we get back to the truck, it's gonna be dark. So, thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe.